Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 54. I'm Deborah Wursu of DebraWursu.com. This week I've changed styles from what I normally do, choosing a simple stylized grass design inspired by Japanese kimono fabric. As this sort of design needs quite a careful approach, at the beginning I'm showing the actual speed it was worked at. This design took well over an hour to stitch the grass design alone, and as you can see, some preliminary background quilting was worked prior to adding the design. The picture is worked on a small piece of silk fabric that has a natural design woven into it, which was perfect for creating the wavy background. I began by roughly marking out the design and then building up the picture using a range of different coloured threads in greens, browns, creams and a touch of red that I add later. You may have noticed at the start of this video that in the completed sample the silk fabric has quite a green tone. The fabric actually appears to the eye closer to the cream shade visible while the piece is under the machine lights. But when it was complete I rotated it to a different angle and it caught the light quite differently. Silk is such an interesting fabric that can take on a personality of its own at times. The design features a number of leaves that required filling with stitch or thread painting. The beginnings of these can be seen here. However, the majority of the design is made up of thinner stems and stalks. Stitching like this is not really my preferred method. I'm much more comfortable with looser designs that can be worked quickly, but the practice this sampler gives is a useful exercise. It's at this point that I began to add a touch of deep red, almost a burgundy colour, to the design. Just a little here and there of a contrast colour can really help lift a design. I considered using a brighter red, but decided that the peaceful nature of the picture would not appreciate a startlingly bright colour in its midst. While I was working, I was thinking about how a design like this could be used. Of course, small items can look lovely framed but it would also create a nice feature on a quilt. Other ideas I had were to add it to a garment, such as a skirt or a kimono gown. In the end, the choice is yours. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to your company again next time. Please visit my website at debrawursu.com for more tips, tutorials, patterns and videos.